Hi everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and this is going to be our reading for the new moon in Aries. I actually wasn't going to do a video because I thought, okay, well I'm doing the weekly videos now, and nope, the energies are just, they're just wild. So I was guided to go ahead and do the video for tomorrow's new moon, and um, I want to talk a little bit about the shadow work that everybody's going through. <laughs> prior to the new moon. I think it's what it is, is that the en energies of the new moon are so potent, so fiery, so present, that it is demanding of us to really do this very, I mean, could be quite deep shadow work. So if you are all over the place, uh, no, you are not alone. Um, I, a couple of days ago, I was like literally on a roller coaster. I got great news, and then I got bad news, and then I got good news, and then I got bad news. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to go crazy here. So thank God for Ron from Simply Intuitive who took me through a beautiful meditation and um, working very deep shadow work, but through the energies of Kuan Yin and Compassion. So I have been working with the Kuan Yin energies for the last three days, and let me tell you, just amazing, amazingly beautiful, working the violet flame with Quan Jin, and it's it's really just helped to set me on these new moon energies and take advantage of what it is that we're going to be, you know, that we're right in the process of creating prior to all of these retrogrades. I mean, we're, we're being inspired. I'm, I'm getting all kinds of inspirations of all the kinds of things to do for, you know, for readings and, and just, you know, just so motivated, right? Ding. So motivated. So, so happy to be doing this. So, um, so without going to be using today the Syrian Star Seed Tarot by Patricia Quarry and Alyssa Bartha. And as a blessing card, I'm going to pull from the Divine Guidance by Shirley Harnish. I love this fractal art. Um, it's so, so pretty. So let's go ahead and start with, let's do, I think, three or four cards. We'll see what comes. Oh, these are really, like huge. I mean, let's see this. Oh, I've got to show you this. I went into a Japanese feng shui store today, and they had this beautiful, I don't know if you can see, a bloodstone uh, palm stone. And it was the first one I touched, the first one I picked up, and I literally could not put it down. I'm like, okay, it has to come come home with me. So we're going to work with that very grounding bloodstone energies. And to balance, this is, um, these are actually tanzanite. Let's see if you can see them. Let's see if I can get closer. Tanzanite um, chips. That this is a special gift from a friend of mine in South Africa. And so I was guided to pull out the Tanzanite wand. So we're going to balance the very earthy, the bloodstone, with the very, the higher chakras of uh, the violet um, and see what, what wants to come out for us for as guidance. Now, on April 9th, which is Saturday, I will be doing a live stream on Facebook. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have some a special offer that I'll be announcing during that time. So anybody who watches the replay of the video will know. Um, and who are, anybody's live, of course. So I hope that you can tune in or watch the replay on my Facebook. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, okay. Let's see. Ask my angels and guides to help us to share in the energies. Oh, yes, I know. Saturday, April 9th, is also a master number 22 day. So um, there's this cosmic burst of energies that is coming flying in for us, which is part of, you know, being propelled by also the new moon in Aries. So just crazy energies, crazy, wonderful. And um, I hope that the projects that you'll be starting will... Um, will bring fruition in the full moon, which will be in Scorpio. I believe that's the 20th or the 22nd of April. And it's actually, um, th that is my moon sign. Scorpio is my moon sign. So 
Let me see what that's going to bring up with all these planets in retrograde. Oh, right. Master of Orbs. So that's the King of Swords. So it is a mastery over our thoughts in order to have the balance. And I love that he has his sword here balanced across uh, his throne, like just holding it. It's it's not meant for uh, fighting or drama. So make sure to, to remember to keep your balance in these days. Uh, keep your thoughts in check and go with the higher wisdom. Go with your higher thoughts, your higher perspective, okay? And this is uh, seems to be a person who is extremely aware, awareness. I'm getting psychic awareness is going to be very much in play. And I love that he has, like, you know, you're seeing all, all the videos now, the, the rainbow but the circle rainbows, that's what kind of reminds me that he's in this orb uh, and rainbow energy around it, which is also being manifest as well. Second card, three of orbs. Okay, so this reminds me of the, the one of the cards I pulled today, which is storm warning. So here we have our storm warning. All right, so we, we are, but w what... Even though the, the storm is already starting to clear, okay? So with the new moon, the storm uh, clouds are leaving, and we're being able to see that there is uh, a ray of light, a ray of illumination, and we're coming out of that stormy shadow work time. Um, and you see that the waters are calm down here, even though it's a huge lightning strike, but... Uh, the rain is, is off in the distance, and now this part, which is closer to us, our immediate future, um, is is more is more illuminated, and it is is calmer. So look forward for that as well. And I will pull one more. It's kind of, there's, they're kind of giving it to me one by one. It seems today. Wow. Okay. So here we've got two. Oh, beautiful. Four of flames. This is the four of wands. So here is the epitome of like marriage, happy life, foundations, uh, solid foundations. I mean, you see the pink, the, the roses here, the red and white roses, like, you know, reminds you of like Camelot. You know, the castle is festooned with garlands. Um, it's, even though it looks like sunset, they've already, I mean, just all this fiery creative energy. So here we have the creative energy that's coming in for us in the new moon with this Aries energy. And then the, shadow card uh, is the three of flames so here we are we're on the verge of our just our dawn so as we're having the dawn of the new day here we have we're having the sunset and then the new beginnings which is the base of the whole spread for the new moon in Aries so I wanted to pull one more card. This is from the Divine Guidance, and it'll be our blessing card if we can get this out of the way. And let's see what spirit. Ooh. Oh, and I believe that this is Nectar of Life. And so let me just look this up real quick. But I'm sure to sure because it looks like a drop of honey um, to me. And it looks like, you know, it's got angel wings here. Yeah, it's the Nectar of Life. And it said that we've worked, you know, that we've definitely worked hard, and um, that that it's time that that we're being asked to save our life, to really do the things that we love to do, um, to, whether it's quality time with family and friends, where, where if it's our, you know, spiritual connections, work, um, a hobby, and it's basically take time to embrace our life, and we do that by when we do things that, you know, just bring us joy. And I think that's the fifth dimensional energies. And that's why we've done such heavy duty shadow work in the last few days. Because they just want us, uh, the energies just want us to get through this so that we can be on the other side. So we can have these rewards. So we can taste the sweetness and feel empowered and, you know, be creative. Look at this beautiful orange sacral chakra energy. And it, it just seems like it's, you know, like, there's a little face here, and it just looks like an angel to me. But this this beautiful, you know, um, 
you know, nectar that we just need to be able to taste the nectar of life, you know, and, and be able to embrace it and, and bring it into our lives. So I think with the new moon energies, um, the solar energies that are coming in, that's really what's going to be brought for us. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the, uh, the video for the new moon in Aries. Um, I will be doing a um, live stream on Facebook Saturday night, again, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And I'll be making, um, announcing a special offer that I'm doing just during that video. Okay, that's the only time um, we'll be doing, whenever you have the replay, you have to refer to that video. And, um, and I hope you join me because I think the energies for Saturday are going to be really incredibly off the charts. And I think we're coming out of this shadow time and really stepping into the light before we go into the retrogrades. And then, but that's the story for another day. So I wish you many blessings for this new moon. Set your intentions. Um, do your candle work. Uh, you know, put your crystals into a grid. And just really write down what it is that is your heart's desire and focus on that. Namaste.